when you are um, in Trump's America, you have to make sense of norms that have shifted, values that have changed, commitments that have been rearranged or, or, or completely turned upside down. Um, and one of those changes uh, for the Trump administration, under the new incoming Trump administration, Trump 47, not to be confused with Trump 45, is a complete assault on the American or United States rather educational system. So let, let, let's talk about, I'll talk specifically about this issue right now. Colleges, so frustrating. This is so frustrating. And again, we can pretend, we can pretend that this was gonna be the same no matter who won, but I don't believe that's the case. Colleges and universities are bracing themselves for Donald Trump's plan to dismantle the Department of Education, which of course, helps do a lot of things the Department of Education does, including distribute financial aid to students. Now, Donald Trump is not going to be able to do this easily. He's going to face formidable opposition, but he's got a secret weapon. You know what it is? Anti-Semitic claims, the accreditation system, and the American Academy. What am I talking about? First of all, you probably never heard of the American Academy. It's a new school that Trump says will be strictly non-political, yeah, right, and there will be no wokeness or jihadism allowed. So just to be clear, by the time you say, I'm opening a school that is non-political because there's no wokeness or jihadism allowed, you've already made a whole series of political claims and statements and assertions, uh, and you are already ensconced in politicization. But that's another conversation. Let's talk about what Donald Trump is talking about. He's very specific here. In fact, he made a pitch to the American people, a pitch that I think is bonkers, but a pitch that is entirely in line with who and what this administration is. Take a listen. In recent weeks, Americans have been horrified to see students and faculty at Harvard and other once respected universities. Once respected. Expressing support for the savages and jihadists who attacked Israel. We spend more money on higher education than any other country, and yet, they're turning our students into communists and terrorists and sympathizers of many, many different dimensions. We can't let this happen. It's time to offer something dramatically different. Under the plan I'm announcing today, we will take the billions and billions of dollars that we will collect by taxing, fining, and suing excessively large private university endowments. And we will then use that money to endow a new institution called the American Academy. Its mission will be to make a truly world-class education available to every American free of charge and do it without adding a single dime to the federal debt. This institution will gather an entire universe of the highest quality educational content covering the full spectrum of human knowledge and skills and make that material available to every American citizen online for free. Whether you want lectures or ancient histories or an introduction to financial accounting or training in a skilled trade, the goal will be to deliver it and get it done properly using study groups, mentors, industry partnerships, and the latest breakthrough in computing. He was reading good for a minute. Some of them words got tough for him. The dentist started shifting and Donald Trump started sounding like Donald Trump. But beyond the actual reading of that prompter, that sounded a hell of a lot like an infomercial for Trump University. I mean, I don't know. It, I, I was not excited by that. For, for, there's so many pieces to this, right? First thing, saying that he's going to give people something that's non-political with no wokeness means that he is going to basically not address any of the things that make uh, the right uncomfortable, that make any of the, uh, the anti-CRT uh, Moms for Liberty uh, Ron DeSantis in Florida, all those entities that really don't particularly like things like history, all those evangelicals who don't believe in dinosaurs. That's the wokeness they're talking about. Mentioning that America was founded on slavery. No, they don't want any parts of that. They don't want anything to do with it. So they're going to sanitize settler colonialism. They're going to erase racial capitalism. They're going to do all this stuff, right? And then they're going to create a kind of McCarthyite uh, witch hunt 
on American universities that have the audacity to actually teach the truth. And then they're going to tax them and use the money to build these right wing, I don't know, indoctrination centers. Now, look, people have a right to believe what they want and to teach what they want within reason. And if people want to make right wing, we have right, we have Oral Roberts, we have we have all these universities already. You want to open more of them? Go ahead. I don't care. People have a right to do what they want to do in that regard. But we shouldn't be stripping and undermining mainstream current universities for the purpose of building these other ones. Remember, he said we will collect money by taxing, fining, and suing excessively large private university endowments. I don't even got a problem with taking money from excessively large university endowments. It's funny, though, how Trump now suddenly has an idea of what excessively large means when it comes to wealth, right? Because I could say we could tax the wealth. We could tax people with except, except, exceptionally large net worths. We could, et cetera, et cetera. We could tax, tax uh, exceptionally large corporations. So we could get, create enough tax revenue to build and invest in a world that would make the vulnerable less so. But of course, that's not what he wants to do. He wants to take money from Harvard to build his own kind of institutions. And again, he's framing it through the lens of anti-Semitism, of course, right? He's saying these American universities are anti-Semitic. Uh, they, have, they, they support savages. Hear the language, savages and jihadists who attacked Israel. So they're saying Harvard used to be respected. Now he started supporting savages. So now we got to take Harvard's money and we're going to build something that's depoliticized, started by Trump and the evangelical right. And just for context, right, because the more he talked, the more it sounded like a commercial. Donald Trump is the same dude that had to pay a twenty five million dollar settlement, twenty five million dollar settlement. Why? Because he was defrauding students where. In a little place called Trump University, which, by the way, is now default. So now. Trump is going to be targeting real universities. He's going to use the Civil Rights Act. He's going to defund schools. And he's going to do it, again, under the guise of fighting anti-Semitism. And because nobody wants to be seen as anti-Semitic, no one wants to be seen as opposing an effort to fight anti-Semitism, this just may pass through. And unfortunately, it's kind of foreseeable. I mean, this is all part of the MAGA plan to undermine higher education. Uh, and the genocide in Gaza gives them this, the perfect opening. Um, Trump wants to silence the set. He wants to criminalize uh, critiques of Israel. He wants to destroy the pro-Palestinian movement, and he wants to uh, marginalize student protesters, um, which, of course, all serves the interests of the pro-Israel lobby. So Trump is basically checking off a lot of boxes of lobbying groups, supporters, uh, members of his base who have very particular political demands and very particular political interests. Um, and he's unfortunately going to radically reshape, maybe even destroy the contemporary modern uh, educational landscape as a means of making his people happy. It's a, it's a scary, it's a scary uh, proposition. Uh, Mustafa J said, wait, did he just offer four-year college? Doesn't sound like it. It doesn't sound like it to me, Mustafa. I get what you're asking, and it's not an unreasonable ask, but it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like what he's saying is, we're gonna punish anybody who's critical of Israel. We're gonna take their money, and then we're gonna build an online, uh, we're gonna build an online program that will likely be privatized. Because remember Trump in, in this Project 2025, which of course he knows nothing about. It's a coincidence, we must never speak of it again. Uh, all of it. All, all those entities have made it very clear they want to dismantle the public good for the private interest. It's all part of neoliberalism, our neoliberal approach. So all that to say, to be clear, Donald Trump ain't promising that he's robbing from Harvard and giving to, to us. He's not saying I'm going to strip the money from the, 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 the richest endowments of the world and just create an American university where people can get four-year degrees uh, without any issue. If that was, the, if that was his plan, he could, he could forgive student loans, debt. He could, he could do a lot of things to get us to the place that you might want to see us, and I might want to see us at Mustafa, but that ain't what the Donald is talking about. This feels like, as Karen D is saying, it's just another way to grift. It's just another way to grift. And he seems to be able to, what better way to grift sometimes than exploiting the world of education? And, and in fact, 
got more examples of that as we speak. By now, we all know what Donald Trump is up to. I'm sorry, I got this weird noise coming up. Let me see if I can stop it real quick so y'all don't have to. Uh, unfortunately, my little, my little tech snafu is not easily uh, silenced. It's easier to just give in. So, um, we are in a crazy moment right now. And the story I just read to y'all was just an example of the craziness. Just one example of the craziness. There are literally dozens, if not thousands, if not hundreds, if not thousands, of examples that I could bring up. And I got another one for you, unfortunately. And I'm bringing these up because I know some of y'all are like, uh-oh, is he going to some partisanship? No, let me be clear. Democrats are still in office and they're still trash. Ain't no doubt about it. But I'm also trying to prepare us for the next stage of our fight, which in two months, 60 days, is going to be against the Trump administration. 